Hi, this is Robert again from RBC Consultant. Uh, I'm gonna do another test here. I'll walk you through what I did and then give you a quick demonstration. Uh, up here on the concrete wall, uh, what I've got is uh, basically four different scenarios. I've got a piece of uh, basically construction paper uh, for wrapping off when you paint. Uh, this piece was untreated. <clears throat> what I did here is uh, I did something a little different. I was thinking, you know, everybody's thinking of protecting stuff from the outside in, and the abrasion on this stuff isn't that tough. So what I did is I reverse sprayed this. I sprayed the back of the piece of paper with the top coat first, uh, and then I applied the bottom coat over the top of it. I did a test on a piece of metal first, uh, just to make so I could see what the top coat did, because it's hard to see on the paper. It did turn it a little bit whiter, uh, but I, th I think you can see that. Uh, I sprayed in the outline box here, uh, and you can see it is a little bit whiter. Okay, what I got down here is a piece of paper that's been treated on the outside, top coat, or I mean bottom coat, uh, applied, dried, top coat, put on. Over here, same thing. Bottom coat, top coat applied, and then I did a little bit of an abrasion test. I took this... Uh, green scratch pad, you know, basic scratch pad. It is kind of rough. And I just, you know, sat here and rubbed on it a little bit until I could damage it. Uh, and what I was thinking does is like if you're packaging up something and you spray like the outside of a box. Now this is just a scenario. It could be used on several different techniques is since it doesn't hold up to abrasion that good. Uh, what I thought is getting the product behind the material let the material take the abrasion with the protection still being behind the material. Uh, and this is, you know, basically for water and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to saturate each one of these with water and kind of give you an idea of what I did. And then I want to show you at the end of this how the water didn't come through the reverse spray. So hold on one second. Regular uh, Ace Hardware premium pump sprayer. But here we go. You want to zoom in on that? Now, as I'm saturating this, now I've already sprayed it, of course, just to test it, but you can see that the water's already penetrating the paper and it's already moisture's already going through to the concrete or whatever's behind it. This is actually CMU, okay? So then here, what I did is this is an abrasion test. You can see it works good all the way around it, but since it was abrasion and I kind of destroyed the product and the way it's supposed to work, the water is actually sticking to it and it eventually will saturate through. This piece over here works awesome. I mean, this is the product and the, you know, total 100% sprayed on and it's repelling the water just the way it is. But see, this can be damaged uh, by scratching it. Uh, you know, you get something on it. Now this piece up here, now remember, I reverse sprayed top coat, then bottom coat on the back side of the material. And I'm just gonna spray it here. Now I've sprayed all these the same amount before I tested this, so don't think I didn't let this one sit up here either. But I've given them all the same amount of water just to show you. I didn't do anything different to try and trick anybody, but this here, the concrete is still dry. It has not yet penetrated through a reverse spray scenario of Ultra Everdry here. So I just want to give you another option of things that can be done. Say you put something in a box, just a standard square box. Hold on one second, I'll grab one. Okay, you, you got the uh, basic, basic uh, box here. Now I could spray the outside of this box and protect it and ship it. it. Might get damaged, might get wet, you know, whatever. It's gonna get destroyed. I could spray the outside with the Ultra Ever Dry and it is gonna protect it. Uh, but if it gets scratched and picked up by forklifts and uh, dollies and people throwing it and hands on it, uh, rubbing on it, it could get damaged, could get wet. Now this is not, you know, the ultimate idea I'm thinking about, but uh, what you can do is reverse spray, spray the top coat, then apply the bottom coat. Then if the box gets wet on the outside, you still have your protection on the inside. Now it's not gonna protect as good as it would like this, but obviously you can see that it is, it is working. The paper is saturated around the edges where I didn't spray. 
But here in the center, it's still dry. But the paper's wet. But the center's still dry. You can see what it looks like wet. I mean, that's just dripping water. Whatever's on the inside of that just got ruined. This here, sprayed, abrasion. This here, the way that you're supposed to spray. Now, I spray out of a gun. Uh, I don't use pump sprayers. Uh, I like the between a .55 and a .1013 uh, gun tip out of an airless works great. 40 PSI coming out of com a compressor, about 32 on the gun. But anyway, I thought that was interesting. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, like I said, I have other videos up there. Uh, give me a phone call, give me an email. Uh, if you got an idea, I'll test it. If you want something sprayed, uh, give me a call. We'll send it up here. I'll spray it in the shop, send it back to you. You can give it a test. Uh, but anyway, this is Robert RBC Concrete. Uh, my next video, uh, I'm going to try and harden the bottom coat with uh, mixing it with another chemical. And I'm going to see if I can harden this bottom coat and get it to it adhere to something else. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. Look me up. Uh, hopefully, maybe by next week I can have that done. Uh, and uh, like I said, give me a shout out. Bye.